What's up friends, I'm Rip. Could you do me a huge favor and hit the like button on the video today? It really does help us keep the show running. Now to today's video, with the recent announcement that DeBlob might be coming to the Switch in the future, I was thinking let's do a video, five games on the Wii that either need a sequel on the Switch or need some sort of remaster. Let's get into it. In 2009, the Nintendo Wii gave us Excitebots, a game that I would love to see remastered on the Nintendo Switch. This is an insane racing game that transforms your vehicles into many different types of animals, insects, and amphibians. This game really switches up the normal gameplay that you get in a racing game. It has you doing things like swinging from poles, gliding in a very strategic manner to gather items in the air, randomly getting up on your hind legs and running, and doing a ton of other wacky things during the game that really separates this from most generic racer games. With the game mixing things up so often, this is one of the best things about the game in my opinion, is that you don't have to be a hardcore racing fan to enjoy Excitebox. No matter what kind of gamer you are, or not even a gamer at all, I promise you, dive into Excitebox and you'd have a good time. I would love to see a sequel to one of my favorite, most underrated fighting games of all time, and that's Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. Tatsunoko vs. Capcom really shocked me and surprised me when it came out because I was used to the normal vs. Capcom games and those crossbreeds that we were getting through the years. I wasn't ready for Tatsunoko to join the game. Tatsunoko was a brand I was very unfamiliar with, but once I got into the game, I began to love all the characters and their abilities. I started to discover characters that were completely new to me, like Ken the Eagle, June the Swan, Duranjo, and more. We need a sequel for this game because the game's mechanics works great, the art style is perfect for a fighter game, and I would love to fall in love with some new Tatsunoko characters that would be introduced to a Tatsunoko rookie like me. One of the best and definitely most underrated games of the 2000s as an adventure game would be Zack and Wiki's Quest for Barabaros Treasure. Zack and Wiki brought us a wonderful point and click experience but also brought us so much old school charm and they did it in a perfect visual presentation. In the game you are required to overcome obstacles by solving puzzles and advance towards a treasure chest. You do so by overcoming a ton of puzzles and working closely with your wonderful monkey friend Wiki. Capcom did a fantastic job developing this game, but the problem was that on the Wii, so many games got overlooked because there was so much shovelware on the console, so this game was simply overlooked, but it's a game that you need to play. Whether you like point and click adventures or not, or even puzzle solving, enjoy the game, dive in and set on a new adventure. We need this game ported over, remastered onto the Nintendo Switch. In 2010, we got Kirby's Epic Yarn, a game that needs, that must have a sequel on the Nintendo Switch. This is one of the prettiest looking non-HD games I have ever played. The game is played within an all yarn fashion and is super creative and unique. I would describe the game as extremely pleasant. The music is soothing, the animations are adorable, and the game keeps you smiling from ear to ear the whole way through. Kirby's Epic Yarn is extremely easy and that's how I would love to see the sequel as well because it works. It feels like it is almost a therapeutic experience just playing the game. In this, Kirby can become almost anything, and the gameplay changes dramatically depending on what he changes into. And let me tell you, it flows flawlessly. I know we had Yoshi's Whirly World, and we have another Yoshi game coming to the Switch, but Kirby is my thing. I want to see a sequel so bad on the Nintendo Switch. I want to see what Kirby does next in this all yarn fashion, and what cool things he can change into next. So Kirby's epic yarn, please put a two on that and slap it on the Switch. Please figure out a way. Mario Super Sluggers might be one of my favorite games on the Wii, and I am not a sports person at all, so I want to see a sequel to this game dive into the Nintendo Switch. Anything with Mario in it, I normally love, and this game was no different. By simply throwing in a large group of Mario characters into a baseball game, my heart easily got attached to this. The game features an exhibition mode, a challenge mode, mini games, and a toy field mode. If we did get a sequel, I would love to see some RPG elements thrown into the game, and maybe a year ago this might have sounded a little crazy, but now with the recent announcement of Mario 
Mario Tennis Aces. We see that the Mario series of sports games can easily add some RPG elements into their games and make it a game that we desire and people can be excited for. So Mario Sluggers 2 to the Switch would be great. Again, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and please, like I said earlier, hit the like button on this video. I'm telling you, it helps keep us going. Support the show. It is a way to easily keep us moving on this train of Superhero Game Squad. Thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of this little family with us. We appreciate you guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day. See you guys.